folks, what is going on? Justin Masson here with Nintendo Dads, and we're going to take a first look at another Crab's Treasure out now on the Nintendo Switch. Now, I actually played another Crab's Treasure over at PAX West in uh, September of 2023, uh, and I absolutely loved it. Like, just wanted to keep playing. This is probably the game out of PAX West that I was the most excited to to finally have release, except for, I'd obviously say, Super Mario Wonder, but this has definitely been on my radar since since getting a chance to play it. It is a Dark Souls game. I don't. I haven't really played many Dark Souls games, or any Dark Souls games before. Now, I'm going to be really honest with you. I have already played some of this, um, and so we're going to do file selection. We're actually doing new game, um, and I was actually traveling when the game released, so I didn't have my capture kit with me. Um, so, but I have been playing it. So, but I'm going to show you like the first 30 to 40 minutes of the game. Um, I just, just having a great time with it. Absolutely adoring it. Um, is there some issues with it being on the switch? There's definitely some performance issues. There's no doubt, but we'll let the game play. What word comes to mind when you think of the earth? For some, that word might be beautiful. Others might say the world is hateful or evil, or unstable, or full of shit. But above all else, the word that best describes our world is resilient. Against the odds, time and time again, creatures adapt to make the most of their given environment. Some learn to feed on others, stealing their vitality for their own. Some become scavengers, living off what strangers leave behind. And others still, that we will soon see. Would prefer to be simply left alone. Please open up. Oh, uh, you're not a bird. Sir, are you the owner of this residence? You mean my shell? Uh, yeah, it's mine. You like it? I represent the Royal Duchy of Slacktide, which has recently annexed the territory surrounding and including this tide pool. I'm here to inform you that you have outstanding taxes that date back and upwards of ten tide. If you are presently unable to pay this balance, the duchy will claim your home until you- uh, Hold on. Uh, I've got some questions. First of all, uh, what's a duchy? Also, taxes? Okay. <laughs> so basically, I love the it. Duchess of Slacktide owns this whole area now. And she puts a lot of effort into keeping it safe. So, everyone who benefits from that has to abide by her rules and pay up once for tide. There's still plenty of birds here. I don't know if it's really safe. Look, kid, <laughs> I don't have time to argue political nuances here. I've got a lot of tax evaders to get to. You gotta pay up right now, or I'm gonna have to repo your property. Got it? Okay, okay. I think I've got a hard kill somewhere. Get some quick instructions. I saw this thing glowing over here, a heart kelp. We're gonna grab this. I like I like this. Uh acknowledge knowledge. This is like <laughs> I as as a instructor for uh, adults, uh educator, I, I very much want to start adding acknowledge knowledge uh into everything I do going forward. All right, we're going to come back. Is this enough? So this is interesting. They go from the VO to now text. Um, of course, everything costs money, and, and so I get it. But I sort of love the, the characterization that was being built by the VO work. Okay. I, essentially, I mean, here's the deal, right? He does not have, um, does not have what, what's being looked for. Sorry. So there we go. Our character's name is Krill. Oh, crab, 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 crab. I like that. Let's go see him over here.
basically just running us through the the area to get a little bit of tutorial going here. Get a sprint going. We're chasing them. Better get a job and pay up. Okay. See you later, hold. Son of a crab, 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 crab. And so now we enter the ocean. All right, there was actually some netting up there I want to go grab. Nice. Barely grabbed it, but he got it. I love it. Get up there, buddy. Keep going. There's one over there we're going to go get. Oh, no. Okay, we see these uh, wonderful glowing things down here. Everybody got a bread claw. It's junk. Okay, so we're going to run from this guy. We're going to run from all these guys. Keep going. Yeah. Nice little roll. Get up here. There we go. We can see over there in kind of the distance a uh, thing that's shiny. Shiny! Okay. So R is our swing of our fork. We've got an attack, and we've got a uh, uh, kind of a bigger attack there. Now, how do I get up there, I wonder? We won't worry about getting up there right now, I don't think. We'll break our way through this. We get to focus enemies by hitting our R button. There we go. Couple hits. Shabam. Tap A to dodge. We're getting some on-screen prompts for healing. There we go. We'll actually take two of those. Those are those kelp hearts that I had earlier. There we go. Break some glass. Break some glass and shake some glass, that's all. There we go. I just like breaking stuff really more than anything else. There we go, what do we got here? Okay. <clears throat> so we've got these kind of diamond crystal things that uh, we've just collected. They will come in handy later in the game as we um, upgrade. What's that thing? Getting close, um, the current starts getting warm close to this little platform. It's kind of cozy, uh, comfy. I wonder if I can rest my feet there for a while. So this is um, kind of in the Dark Souls world or universe. It's it's really that uh, that ability to, that's your save point, right? You've now had a checkpoint here. 
There you go. This is a place to rest for um, health, and if you're slain, you revive there. Okay. Uh, also, while you're there, you can enter. So this this is where you'll. I also love, by the way, the loading screen. In the top right is recycling sign. I like that. That's funny. Um, da, da, da. So this is where you can level up, and so you can see, um, yeah, microplastics and leveling up. The power of the presence moon will allow you to purge these things. So at, you can level up as you receive more more stuff to do, and you can kind of... I don't have enough right now to, to do that, but this is where you level up. This is also where you're going to find shells, and, you're, and you'll see the ability to, to uh, what they do. Uh, and then you exit, and this is your save point. So this is these are always great places to be at. Good remembrance of that. We don't have a shell yet. There's our lone shark. Okay. You can definitely tell that, and this is sort of my earlier statement. Um, okay, so. Real piece of works takes all my hard earned. Okay. Where can I find her? Okay. Kind of. Oh, I see here how it is. You're kind of a freeloader. Do you think you can skirt your taxes? Reds, karma crabs are all the same. Wearing shells, the rest of us work hard to create. A state of tide, small fry. How about I do something to you? All right, dude. Fine, I'll take your shell. I can't because it's too small. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna start heading. Come on now, okay? We're gonna start heading that way. So one of the things I will say for sure, and you're you're probably as you're watching this, um, there are definitely some hitches and glitches, um, and some challenges with pop or not necessarily pop in, but with loading. I think you can see you saw that when the, when we hit the glass, um. And they were very prompt, by the way, the uh, folks to send out a uh, tweet on the Friday saying, like, we recognize there are problems and we're going to do some patches to get going. I'm pretty sure, like, the Steam version already has a hot patch out for it. Um, I, th I think, like, here's the reality. The Switch is just an older system, right? Like, that is the that is the harsh reality of it. And so it's not performing, I think, this as well as you would like it to. I, don't, I haven't found anything game-breaking yet. And, um, and I suspect like if you're like on the fence, maybe about it, you're like, oh, maybe I'll pick it up when it's on sale. You can definitely do that. And I'm sure there'll be, you know, sales on it as well. And, um, patches will have come out by then. That'll make it feel maybe more manageable for some. Uh, again, I don't feel like it's unmanageable, but it definitely can tell you like, Ooh, could use a little bit of, a little bit more baking in some of the areas just in regards to to the graphics or not necessarily the graphics just the what's happening in the game the game does feel like it at times it's just pushing the switch right I'm just trying to be very kind about how I'm saying this but like I have fun playing it which I think sometimes is all you really need as long as you're having fun I'm gonna just like we're gonna we're gonna get into it here alright I got like four enemies here there we go gonna quickly target Next, your next fishy. Also, gonna take this kelp right here real fast. It's good to have. Oh. There we go. Actually, I didn't take that kelp. It just fell down there. Okay, there we go. Do, do, do. I'm just wrecking shop up here with these guys, you know what I'm saying? I never noticed that f those uh, fishing rods there before, by the way, or those fishing hooks.
Nice. There we go. Okay. Awesome. Got some stuff over here. So they obviously have the path because you can kind of see there's like all the cigarettes and they're like, oh, follow this path. And then you have the ability to easily explore. Come on down, buddy. Oh, man. I thought I had that. Get out of the way. Oh, man. There we go. Quick roll. Boom. Okay. Whew. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, bruh. Okay, I'm wrecking shop right now, you know what I'm saying? Just giving her. Cool, get our crystals. There we go, beauty. Talk. And so there's there's even things like this, like that um, image is not fully in, right? Hey there, sweetie. Pretty bad, got my shell stolen. Taxes. Okay. We see one of the uh, stations over there. Or one of the kind of places to save, so we're going to get that done. Although I think I'm going to mess this guy up first. There we go. Some of them, when they die, drop um, stuff, and that's kind of what I was hoping for there. I wonder. Mm, I was kind of hoping there'd be maybe something cool in there for that. But I will head this way because I can see that right there. You never really know what the kind of glowy thing is going to be. And in this case, it is lobster limb. Cool. Or blood star limb, sorry. And so if I get three of those, it increases my vitality. I am going to go save because <laughs> I'm doing well. I've got a good run going and I don't want to. I don't really want to mess that up, if I'm being completely honest. <laughs> I don't know if I can upgrade anything. I've been kind of killing a lot of folks, so I don't know if that if that gets me like credit and the skills to be able to to uh, upgrade upgrade level. Okay, there we go. So. There we go. So I have to increase. I can increase something. Hearts, resistance, attack, or message, maybe? I think right now I'm going to go with this. There we go. Okay. Love it. Don't have any shells, so we're not doing a shell collection. Or can't really not gonna view that right now. So we'll just keep moseying this way. Water bottles. So we'll follow our, our kind of main path here. So we're getting close to the castle, it looks like. There we go. And you can kind of see as we're getting close, like everything's popping in a little bit more, right? I thought it looked pretty harmless. Downright adorable, huggable even, perhaps. Um, take a hint, she's not seeing you because you're naked, okay. All right, so need to need to get wear something, right? So now we're introducing the shells. So head to the east, and there is some garments. So we're gonna head that way. All right. 
So again, sort of staying on this main path where there's cigarettes and confetti. Oh, there's something over there, I see. We'll go collect this. Oh, I see an enemy right there, too. Oh, bread claw. There we go, they actually did leave a... Ooh, look at that. A weapon designed to reel and prey at long distance in combination with a sturdy piece of string. So we're starting to find some stuff that maybe we can uh, craft together. I don't know if there's a crafting component to it. I haven't found that yet. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, okay. Well, I'll take you on, sure. There we go. And I did see over here the kelp stuff. So we'll grab that. Can't carry any more kelp hearts? Okay. Okay. Okie dokie, Pinoki. What do we got over here? Another bread claw. Oh, look at this. We'll we'll climb this. Oh yeah, one of these things. Perfect. Love it. There we go. We got some more. So this will be great for our next upgrade. And we've got an enemy down there. And I'm just gonna. It almost sounds like a little like a little dog or something like whimpering. Arr! I thought I saw a crab down here. Did I not? I thought I did. Oh, there he is. There we go. We're going to continue to head this way. I like how it's, you know, they're, they're very good at, like, using, you know, so here we obviously have, have garbage, these ketchup containers, packets as sort of these landmarkers for where we're going. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm full on this, right? Yeah, I can't carry any more. Okay. Just something off in the distance is glowing, so let's take a take a gander at that. Push the button. Fizzy pops. Okay. It's shiny. Right on. So now we've got a shell. This is cool. Go see the Duchess. The shell chafes like heck compared to the mine. Okay. Press hold, um, and they can take damage and reduce damage taken. So there's our block, okay? Oh, crab. I'm sorry. Was I supposed to grab a ticket? You think yourself above the law, but the law is not so easily out. Sorry, I'll go to the back of the line, okay? <laughs> you can be so lucky. I'll have your head like I have these other worthless lava breakers. Kind of grim now that we're seeing that, hey? You're like, oh. Okay, so this will be interesting. <laughs> I'm going to be really honest with you. I have not beaten this guy, so I... So we got a problem, right? We, okay, so he's just broken that. And I need to hustle. Okay. I need to get another shell, and I need to do it fast, or else I'm going to be in real trouble. Oh, no! Ugh. Oh. 
I am wearing a shell, right? Okay, yeah. So, I mean, like, that's a great example of... We've got a little bit of a... Glitching problem here. So what I'm actually going to try and do is I'm actually going to try and run out of this battle because, oh no, you can't. Son of a gun. I thought I was going to be able to go in. Um, uh, I thought I was going to be able to go and get uh, some more hearts. Um, so that's not fun. When you're slain, you'll drop all your micro microplastics in your shell. If you had one, spot you die. Be careful. If you die again, they're completely lost. So I'm going to go recover my junk. My junk. My big, big, big junk. So they give, like, they give me a fair amount of shells here, which is okay. I like how we just skip that if we, do, if we don't want to, which is great. Okay. What I want to do is I want to... Okay. All right. Figuring out the edging on this thing here. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's not fine. Oh. Man. Oh, he's making the run for it. Oh, I see. Okay. You raise your blade against the law. Yeah. How far are you Shell's broken. Oh, dude. Dude. I feel like I got farther along that one this time. All right. So here's something else that we'll, we'll quickly kind of show. This is our, I'll show this is kind of fun. Um, Cause I don't want to get too far into spoiling. We're about 30 minutes into, uh, into another crab's tale. So let's go into options, right? Um, and settings. So you have the ability here to, Assist settings. Another Crab's Trail is meant to be a challenging game, but everyone plays their own game. If it's too difficult, is harming your fun, feel free to turn on these options and make it easier. All right. So, so there's so in the assist mode there is extra str uh, shell durability, reduced damage taken, uh, low and lower enemy health, uh, dodge. Like there's a lot of accessibility settings in here, which I really really love. But I think that this is the most important one. Give Krill a gun. And so now we're gonna exit, and we're gonna exit, and Krill has a gun. Uh, different shells have different weights indicated by the letter of the stat, heavier shell, okay, got it. So now, <laughs> Krill shoots. And so, this is a bit of fun, isn't it? Let's see how shooting works now. Now, do you want to swap the gun for the can? Nope. We're going to walk up here. We're going to trigger the event. Come on. 
Where's the guy? Oh, do I have to put the shell? Oh, you know what? I put the shell on probably. That's what it is. Okay. I'll swap the shell back and forth for the uh, gun. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, Krill has a gun. All right. We're going to swap the shell. That should probably trigger the event, maybe? There it is. Okay. Yeah. So, we'll swap that. We'll Or, we'll skip that. We'll go back over to find the gun. We'll swap the gun. And he's dead. You can't have learned the law to kid. Done. <laughs> that was self-defense, right? <laughs> you gotta be something. Anyone would agree? Came with a crazy guy. What was I supposed to do? Sure, sure, okay. Play cool, play cool, cool. If anyone asks, he just tripped and broke his leg and landed on his sword. Uh, so... It <laughs> Yeah, this is great. So if you're like, okay, cool, I now no longer want to do that. You're like, with the gun, I want to go back to being challenged normally, right? Because, hey, this is a little bit too much. You can go back to your settings. You can go back to assist mode. And again, the nice part here is that you have the ability, and, and I and I do, really, the krill with a gun is just funny, right? Like, let's just, let's just start with that. But the thing I love about this, especially for something like a um, Dark Souls game, and I, and I love it when, and I think of Celeste when, hey, you get to a point where you're just kind of like banging your head against the wall and you're like, this is too tough, this is too challenging, it's ruining my experience. And I love that statement of like, if this is ruining your fun, like let's adjust the let's adjust the settings, right? And so you can really tweak and um, balance what you want to do to make your experience enjoyable and to still find challenge and, and, and move forward with it. So I, I wanted to show Krill the gun and I love the fact here that we can kind of make some of those... Uh, changes as well. So I'm going to go back to grill the gun off. Uh, and we're going to go back to exit. Uh, and there you go. So there we go. That is that is done there. I'm going to wear my shell. And then I would be heading back to uh, to where we met. Oh, actually, look, there's a save point right there, which is perfect. That's going to be where we're going to want to do it. And then you go. Moon shell found. And I don't know if I have a bunch more, like, up upgrades now. Yeah, upgrade levels available. So, I'll choose this. I'll just choose both of them. There we go. So, we're upgrading, which is great. Let's take a look at our shell collection. And so, you get an opportunity to kind of, like, like look defense and wait, right? So... Uh, the soda can is actually a little bit less defense than our home, uh, and you can kind of go through it as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is where we're going to end our first look at uh, another Crab's Trail. Another Crab's Trail. Another Crab's Treasure. Sorry, my apologies. Uh, I absolutely love this game. I think it's a ton of fun. Um, again, I will be fully transparent. On the Switch the version, there is definitely some graphical challenges. There is some loading and popping in. I will also say, like, if you actually follow Agro Crab... Um, on Twitter, like they kind of said, like there are there are some performance issues with everything. I don't think there's a like, man, this looks absolutely amazing, perfect. Um, but I do think that uh, it, it is passable and workable. I'm excited to kind of see what some of these patches are going to look like over the next several months uh, as they as they roll them out. Uh, but man, I'm I, I'm loving it. I'm not a huge Dark Souls fan, um, but the writing, the humor, the gameplay, it hooked me from when I was playing at PAX, and I knew I'd love it when it came out. Um, I'm absolutely enjoying it. I will tell you. My one pro tip is I have to use an actual controller, like a, a proper pro controller, and not play with uh, the Joy-Cons like it um, undocked. It's just too challenging for me, especially as a Dark Souls. Uh, but this is a ton of fun. I can't wait to continue to explore it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.